Well, this push mower is finally done. At least I think so. I've had this thing for quite a while now, and for the past year, I've had this bungee cord on this carburetor, and uh, over time it's lost tension, so I had to put a little fitting on there to give it some more tension. And this thing will not stay running unless you lift up on the carburetor. I have no idea why. I've had several people look at it. None of the linkages in there are bent or whatever. So I have no idea. And I was at a customer's yard the other day, actually yesterday, and <clears throat> I wasn't banging it on nothing or anything like that. I was just out in the open doing her backyard and at just out of nowhere it just went wah like he sprayed like a 200 shot of nitrous at it and I stopped I was like what in the world so I let it sit there for a minute and I kept on going and it did it again wah boom it let out the biggest backfire I've ever heard a lawnmower ever let out so it's uh pretty much done no use for that to be on there anymore so it is time to kick this thing to the curb literally and this is what I got this is what I wanted originally it is a Troy built TB230 otherwise known as the geek to freak lawnmower so I'm just gonna do an unboxing here and uh, these things are really really simple to, to set up alright here it is <clears throat> couldn't find a pair of scissors so I guess this big old machete would just have to do now these things are pretty come pretty much pre-assembled you don't really have to do anything except to uh, put oil in it and gas in it and uh, put the handle together and the bag if you want to use that but here's my other bag off the other lawnmower but yeah there it is and um, oh by the way uh, yeah that's nice don't really care at this point um, I did try to get this thing running again it does have the Honda engine there you go you can see it this one right here has the Briggs and Stratton engine and I did I did pull on the stupid cord for probably 15 minutes I pulled until my arm turned blue I couldn't pull anymore and it would not start so I'm going to put this turd behind the shed, and if it gets stolen, well, the joke's on them, because it doesn't work. And maybe I'll pull it out in the wintertime, the next snow, and uh, see if I can't get it going. But until then, this is what I'm going to be using. There's a bag of, bag of goodies. Let's see if I can open this one-handed. So you get your oil, you get the uh, operator's manual, you can go over there, something else, here's your discharge chute which I never use so this will probably go in the recycle bin and yeah there it is, it's pretty much uh, pretty much it so there it is it's all set up handles on everything's good one thing that's kinda weird the the new one I just bought actually came with an oil jug from Briggs and Stratton and you do need to add the entire container to this before you start it 
and this one actually came with an oil bag so kind of weird but what's really weird is the wheelbase is actually shorter as you can see on the TB230 than it is on the one with the Honda engine now they're both 21 inch mowers so I don't know it's kind of weird you see the difference right there it's not much of a difference but you know it's about two inches or so <clears throat> but yeah everything else as far as I can tell is exactly the same except for the engine and this one actually looks like it has a bigger gas tank compared to the one on the Honda just by eyeballing it but yeah there it is and one thing that I am gonna do before I start it I ordered an hour meter off an, off of Amazon and they are really really simple to put in I'll, I'll do a video on it once it gets here but I'm gonna put that on so I can keep track of how many hours I'm putting on it and then they're really cheap too it's only 20 bucks so yeah there is the new mower <clears throat>